Hello and welcome to Spoken English Video Lessons by Arrow Publications. In today's video lesson, you will be learning how to talk about your daily routine. Well, daily routine means all the things you do every day, repeatedly. And we use the simple form of the verb. We use the present form of the verb to talk about our daily routine. So let's get started by looking at some expressions of our daily actions. The first expression is wake up. We wake up in the morning and next we brush our teeth. We have a shower or we take a shower. We get dressed. We get dressed. We have breakfast. We go to school or maybe college or to office. We have lunch at noon and then after work or after school or after college, we come home. Then we play or maybe we watch TV. We study. If you're a student, we study or you study. Then we have dinner and then finally we listen to some music if you like music, you listen to some music and then you go to bed. So, these are some of the actions that you do during the day on a daily basis. That's why we call it a daily routine. There are some more actions that you do every day like drink water. I drink water every day. I wash the dishes. Or maybe your mother washes the dishes or maybe the maid washes the dishes. So wash the dishes. We don't say clean the dishes. We say wash the dishes. Make the bed. That means after waking up, you make the bed. You spread the bed sheet and make it clean. That is called make the bed. We also sweep the floor. You all sweep the floor, isn't it? You clean the floor. You mop the floor. So with a cloth, we mop the floor. With a wet cloth. So that is called mop. With a broomstick, you sweep the floor. And of course, now we shall talk about our daily routine. As And maybe you can make your own daily routine. You can also talk about your daily routine. So let's read a sample about a daily routine. I wake up at 6 a.m. I brush my teeth and have a glass of milk. After that, I take a shower and get dressed. Then I have my breakfast and go to school. I reach school by 9 a.m. I read and write my lessons. At 1 a.m. I have lunch with my friends. I finish school at 3 p.m. I come home by 4 p.m. I change my clothes, freshen up and eat some snacks. Then I go out to play. At 6, I sit down to do my homework. After that, I watch TV. I help my mom to lay the table. What is laying the table? You keep all the food, the plates, the spoons, the glasses of water, on the dining table. This is called a lay the table. I have dinner with my family. I leave the dishes in the sink and clean the dining table. After that, I chat with my family for a while before I go to bed. So this is the routine of a little boy. So what is your daily routine? You can write it down on a piece of paper and then, you know, you can speak about your daily routine. But remember to use the present form of the verb. Did you understand? Let's look at one more routine. Now we are going to talk about somebody else's routine. My dad's daily routine. So when you talk about somebody else's routine, we use yes. We add yes to the verb. So let's see how. My dad is a doctor. He usually wakes up at 5 a.m. 
and goes for a walk. He has a cup of coffee. Then he takes a shower and has a simple breakfast. After that, he drives to the hospital. What is drive to the hospital? That means he drives a car and goes to his hospital. He first goes on rounds to the inpatient wards. So he takes rounds. He goes to all the inpatient wards. What are inpatient wards? Where people are admitted. People are in their rooms. They are already in the hospital. Okay. And the doctor goes there and takes rounds. Rounds means he goes to all the rooms. Then he sees patients in the outpatient ward. He takes lunch in the canteen. Then he relaxes for a while and attends to some emergency cases. He is back home at 5 most of the days. On Sunday, he is free. He takes us out. The weekdays are very hectic for dad, but he enjoys his work. So when we are talking about others, routine, we use yes or es to the verb. We add yes or es to the verb. So when you are talking about your routine, you simply add, you simply use the verb. Okay, so I am sure you have learned how to speak about your routine and somebody else's routine. So try writing down the routine of your mother, your father or maybe somebody else in your family and try to speak about it. I'm sure you have enjoyed listening to this video and you have learned quite a lot about how to speak about your daily routine. I'm sure you enjoyed watching this video. Do like, share and subscribe so that you can watch more videos. Thank you for watching. See you very soon. Goodbye.